So the challenge has been issued. Now they'll just take the microphones, the cameras from the field and we'll be underway. Referee today is Gerard Sutton, Nick Bichel is David yeah, Munro on issue. the sides and Jared Maxwell is the video referee. A lot of excitement around town and of course having six yeah, of the very those. best rugby league teams in the world in Auckland at the same time is a rarity. Uruguay is absolutely fizzing as to how this one might turn out. Of course, Australia going as favourites. Listening to Coach Christian Wolf pre-game, he said that they consider themselves the best rugby league team in the world. Well, 80 minutes away will tell us if that is an accurate assessment as we're about to get underway. There, it's two and one on the wall here. For yeah, West Auckland. Running around in Great Britain. That man, super talented. Spin on a dime. Beautiful passing game. Slick and professional NRL players from Australia. We're underway with a historic encounter. It's the Toronto Invitational 13 against Australia. The early exchanges are going to rock your world as Papa Lee gets into the mix first up. It's dangerous to let that bounce down. But that okay for them this time, though. A bit of a settling period as well. Plenty of pressure on for Tony Staggs. Went to the roll. Clemmer put on his backside. Cut the arm hole. It's a shooter, don't get out hole. What a powerhouse he's been through the Warriors, into the Roosters. A great decision made by the club and by the player. It's resulted in tremendous success as Wilhelm Blaney gets his first touch of the ball, takes it on the 20 and rolls his way forward. It was taken by Jack Whiten. 20 in from the southern touchline here at Eden Park. That was a good kick from Cherry Evans. They kicked early, they found some space and they needed to. Yards were hard to come by. Avili, Canberra now, and a willingness to get into the mix. Latrell out of there! Marcus Square! Go three. Good play the ball, it's again, Dokao who put in big minutes. Huge tackle count last week. Clued now, Tyson, one step, hold. Go four. It's Havili, Dunga in possession. Oh, Daniel Blake. Josh, Marcus, Daly, hold now. Wonderful last week, work around high. The Stags. Puts this one up in the corner. A little bit of pressure here, and the contract is under pressure, all right. What a chance. Did you say a little bit of pressure, Dale? What about that? A mountain of pressure. That might be a big sideline. I like it. The Tony Stags as well. Just tell the trail is going to be a little quicker. The man that's coming in the halves. You think he doesn't know what he's doing in the pressure that's on him? A wonderful, well-weighted kick Thanks, right sir. into the almost end goal. Uh, sure and they were there, there met by, felt like hundreds of red men oh, yeah, there. I'll tell you what, the crowd love it. Here. They're very excited. And the energy down there is electric, boys. Let's go, Tonga. That'll be a confidence building for the stags. Hold Cameron Munster. The kicking game, when you look at the structure of the team and Tommy, you'd think the two Lola here would be predominantly the first choice kicker. So you get a nice kick in early like that. Good for his confidence. Three, out. the ball. No surprise. And the rack went up early. Move, Daniel. Hold, go right. the play the ball. Now, don't get out here. Never a backward step from him. He's only three metres away from the try line. Inside the first three minutes. What a superstar here for Tonga. Big Jason Domalolo. Wrestled to ground. We go all day, Jason. Go, three. Stags again. Okay from here. One on one with Cameron Munster. William Hopewadi okay. just pushes him off. 
Have a look at this. A shift wide. Lolo C1 here to Hopoare. And there he stands, Cameron oh, Munster. Pushes him off. And that there, well, possibly it does float. A touchy. What was he doing? Jason Hopoare! Not much in it. He's down in the cook. Go, two. Come down the short side with Gordon. Two, he's got to work. Go, hold now. Go, two. Sort of inspiration to start. Thanks, mate. This is what I'm looking for is clamour against backsland again. The crowd can really play a part in this game here this evening. If they happen to get their nose in front, Tonga, they can ride them home. Here's a kick from Damien Cook. Sends it down and behind Daniel Tupo. Premiership winner with the Roosters. He strides into the defence and finds good space between Jerry Evans and Cook. He's pretty solid, isn't he? On the high ball as well. That's a great finish. He's down the right edge. Silt 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 the first charge is through Munster. Go three. Go ten. Silt 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 he comes up in the hands of Papaliti. He'll pop it back to Trebojevic. And that's Tedesco trying again. It's possibly the downfall. Just wanting to force an offload too early here. Tonga. Josh Addo Carr. Oh, cops a good hit from Tenor Blake. Still silently through the anthem. Josh. This is Grand Old Midyear. Bobby Cook, famous. Boxer from Australia, but Josh is the speed, blistering speed. He's got to be watched really closely all game. So David Klimmer plays it, and Cook finds Trubojevic. Through the hands, much there to their scope. You can see the sliding and wraps him up now. 25 out from the try line. Here's Cook and Frizzell. Tyson. The ground, last tackle here. Pretty decent set. Australia, they have patience. It's one thing that they pride themselves in. This time around, it's Jennings. So obviously, every time Australia get the opportunity to find some space, they'll shift. They'll shift the ball. They'll try and play through the edges after Clemo or maybe Papali have done some work through the middle and try and tie the turn forward pack out. The way that Will Hoplite is getting himself involved here so far as Manu Mai is holding the ball. Make it and hold. Jake. The lead game's for the Eels and now hitting across to Hull next year. Mai. Boys, I've been able to see plenty of Australian teams live in my time, but I tell you, what, I've never seen them play the ball so slowly. That's very evident tonight. The ruck speed has been controlled very much by this Tom and Invitational side. Towering punt for Dinesk on the far side, and Connie Howell gets hold of him. Monsters him. Connie, doesn't he provide a little bit of energy, especially when he gets the first shot in? And Tommy got it on Tedesco. This is Mitchell. See what he's out! And everyone loves to see Latrell go, although the Tongan fans here today will be hoping he has one of his quietest games. Kind of attitude on show here. Australia into Tongan territory. Nice little ball here, Munster. Beautiful play, but corner. He'll want a quick play of the ball as Lolo here lets him up. And the short side they come. Probing run already. Cherry Evans has hold of the ball. They'll keep it alive too. Through Papali. And now Frizzell showing it on the inside. Going around the outside. Ending up with the ball in hands. Ricky Kotrick. And he's close to the line. Not far out this time for the green and gold. Jerry Evans puts it into the end goal. Can Hopwari get back into the field of play? He can. Great effort. William Hopwari charged at the line like he was scoring a try there to get out of the end goal area. Now Fusatua comes in for a bit of work. Great attack from Australia. Courageous from Hopwari. And now it's Hurrell. I don't know that you get a more proud Tongan player and there's a bit of an issue at the back for the number one. We'll keep you posted on that. Just signed a new contract. It's Canterbury Bankstown. Keeps him there for another couple of seasons. William Hopawade. 
The penalty for Donga. They delight the fans. Under pressure already, nine gone. No score here. But Daryl, you mentioned the crowd early on. I think the voice is starting to pop up in terms of the hymns and what they're going to be singing. It's been a big feature of them in, in past games, especially during the World Cup. Does make a difference, and let's hope it starts up again tonight. Look at this bravery here. Okay. Just attacked the line, didn't he? Realised the importance of not being trapped in goal. Lolo here finds some touch. Australia were five on debut last week, though. Right Just the one on debut off the bench. And Cameron Murray yeah, here this on. evening. What an exceptional player like Murray has been in 2019. Fantastic oh, form no. for South Sydney. Oh, Jake, hold it! Hold it, Jake, hold it! Well, the attack of Tonga last week against Great Britain was pretty direct. It was up this alley here, through the middle. Josh, you're out of there! Did they suddenly change it Make this it. week with the coaching Milking staff? There, Christian Wolf, and Anthony the Hook Griffin. Inside ball. Gives him guessing. He has a sliding defence. Damien Chook's been around a long time. Helen's bird, as we see the drop of on the inside. Charging run for Mo, sends it out the back and Staggs gets hold of it. Little shimmy as he hits the defensive line. 22 metres from the line and Tonga with the ball. As Havili puts it on the inside, threatening to pop one over the top. This is a run. He's a player. And a great patch of form this season. Adelolo here. There comes for Shikua. He's gone from here, David Fussy to her. Jungle at the back of the trail gets hold of the ball. Inside to Tedesco and retreating Tongan defence. Great return from Australia. Uh, under the pump and threatened. They came back in the best possible style as that O'Carr tries to weave his magic. Chewy straight up. Hold in. They turned defence into attack so well, didn't they? There, Australia. Puss it to it. Up he goes. Oh, he nearly got both hands to it. And then Latrell Mitchell. Seen that fan before. Off he goes from Hurrell. Just sums up his options on Jeez. the inside. Finds the one they call Teddy. Two of us, Ashek, showed us some fancy feet in the earlier ma match. And Tedesco's doing it there. Yeah, New Zealand the winners have a great Britain 12 8 earlier on in the day 44 18. Winners Fiji, but the other tour somewhat. Now we're locked up as we come towards 12 minutes here. It's an intriguing battle. The smaller rugby league nations punch well above their weights internationally. Right in front of the post, though, this is a dangerous period for them and an opportunity for the green and gold to capitalize as Trebutovic comes in close. The boy had the brothers have given real sting. Those on the peninsula. His claim up. Back to his own chances. Big unit. Repelled at the last moment. Just a minute or two away. Cook bullet passes out. Defend from Papa Litty to get the go. Shuffled on. Mitchell. And heading him is Murdoch Masila. Drives in. Tackle five, don't grab the marker. So here, Mitchell, Mitchell has grabbed the marker who was Murdoch Masilla. That's where it's hit. Attack that. Don't really come up with it. Crowd say yes. And if the little Blake says, I'm all right for that too. He goes to round 12 out from the line and everyone lines up to get into the mix this time. Just clear it. Hold it. Hold it. Such a prominent name. The in community. And Graham Jennings. Stand out, Tyson. Hold that. Line yeah, speed's been good from Australia. Oh, he's been high in his space. And needles Sell an opportunity. Two. Here's an offload Sell out two. the back. Find Staggs. Watch offload. David Staggs, Sawyer, like Clemmer. Clemmer. Cordner as well. Should be down the right side. It's Doke Ahu again. Often plays as a centre. It's Dubovic. He is assisted by Cameron Munster to make the tackle. Double over again. He certainly drags three defenders every time he carts the ball. Last tackle. Go, last. Fifth and final. Outside. Lolo here. Bounces kindly to Addo Carr. Sends it into Young Teddy. 
Looking to bust the line and got a beauty pass away as well. To Addo Carr, and this is what Donga have to look out for. So they're just trying to sneak down a little blind side here. The second effort from James Tedesco. You're right, Dale, the offload was just beautiful in traffic to play the play before. Let's have a look here. Off he goes and charges and gets a right arm free to the Fox at O'Carr. And then backing up in the second effort, he comes down the blind side and the pass is adjudicated to be forward from Cameron Munster. But this guy showed great hands, side arm with you, Monty. Well, as we marvel at the the size and the X-factor that this Tottenham team possesses, you've got to look at this Australian side and know that they've got speed galore and the professionalism which, which they play, so meticulous, makes them a very hard team to beat, especially when you get into the ground like this and then arm wrestle. Co-captain C, preferred here by Christian Wolf. Something that honour and responsibility to take out here. As we see Kupo once again, grabbed from behind by Nick Kotrick. Take out Damarola. Other co-captains, and of course, Cordner, leading Australia, a dance scene, doing well. A little flag at the moment this time for Fornua Blake. We like should have a guy like Fafita to come on. Power like Junior from Galway, plenty of steam. A lot of attitude and some bulk as well. Really utilise the ball at the back end of that set as well as they might have hoped oh, for. Take, take a bow here, the Australian captain and Boyd Cordner. Tomalolo was setting himself up to have a play out the back, and we're going to set some shape up out to the right. Tom are here, and this is the earlier one here with Jennings. Does a really good job on Jack White, which engages Nick Kotrick out wide to provide a bit of space for Tupo. And on the back of it, Tomalolo. I'll get the pitch and stuff. Ward Gordon comes up with a really good shot on him. Yep. Out. Australia in position now. White. He goes backwards. He's in reverse. Back to Orange. Yeah, that's where he's going to. Real jury people. He's sitting here in the trails. Three outfits was removed. Interesting to see the guys related and right in the centres here for Mel Meninga. He's had a terrific tenure as the coach of the Australian national team. So he underestimate the work of these front rowers here. Papali's followed by Klima here. They both averaged 150 metres last week. That's a His master, Danger Man. Very elusive. One of the tutelage of Bellamy at Melbourne. And turn the slightest opportunity into a winner. Some pressure on at the back and climbing nicely for it. Showing his class and experience as Hopoate. Nice work. Got a good shield there. As Tupo jumps into dummy half, sneaks around to the right. Finds a good 10. A wonderful servant he's been along the years. Daniel Dupo. Popular with his teammates. And why wouldn't he be? A wholehearted performance every time he's out on the track. What about the size of the wingers and the athleticism of the wingers? Fusa Tua, 6'4", Daniel Tupo, 6'5". Last mix for the Tongan coach. He's done well to his feet now on the 40-metre line. No score coming up to 18 minutes. Hopawati with a lovely ball, and there's Tupo. Still alive, Daniel Tupo. Hot stepping at the moment. He's to ground on the 30-metre line, 15 in from the southern touch. It's an enterprising and inventive play at the moment. From this Tongan squad. Bit of Masila, Connie Harrell, straighten up Connie, and he pops the ball to Fushitua. Mitchell says, I'm not having a bar of it, you dudes, and pops Defen the run. Defensively, Dale, Australia, up to the task, aren't they? So much space out on the left here. Nice quick hands, gives Daniel Tupo the opportunity. He finds a little bit of space back on the inside. And then they shift it right across to the right. Connie Hurrell doesn't give David Fusa Tua too much space. Follow uh, Blake and Tavili, 12 tackles at P17 for Cook for the Australians. Then he went out. Cherry Evans. He was it towards touch. He's been around a bit this bloke. Yeah, he's going for 40 20, obviously. Just falls a metre short. 
is. Yeah, we had a breath down there, Monty. Oh, I'm just loving it, enjoying oh, the atmosphere. And it's, it's electric, I'll tell you what, even though the game's are a long way into it. But you look at this Australian team and what's been thrown at them in this Tongan jumper. Uh, they're still relaxed, they're absorbed. They look like they know what they're doing and the communication's been sound. There's no look of stress on their faces, which is what I've been admiring for this last sort of five minutes. 54%. Good position at the moment for Tonga. Uh, Australia competing at 80 percent as well. It's the main line back there. Oh, a few missed tackles for Tonga. King to go. That's what I'm liking about their attitude. King to put in. For Noah Blake. An outstanding couple of weeks he's had. The crowd getting in behind Havili. Crabs his way forward, drops the pass back to Tomololo. Stags, the staggered run and almost through as well. Took a big effort from Whiten to shut him down. Just outside the 30, across to it goes Jennings, waiting for the link man. Punches it through. There's a Tongan wave going around the stadium at the moment. Dorezzi. Really? Look at this guy. Look at the power in the run. Oh, it's beautiful. If you love rugby league, he's such a good exponent. It's okay. Who decides to put a kick? It's been played at. They've got a full set. And Lolo here recognizes that. Takes the tackle. 10 meters out from the try line. No score. Quarter game time. It's Hapawati that will score. Happy. Right between the posts. This will set the stage. I was about to say with the repeat set of six, if they can get a quick play the ball early on tackle one or two, then things could open up. But it opened up anyway. Wulopawari. What a journey he's had. Let's have a look at this. This is Dalmalolo just shedding them off. Travojevic goes down. Cook brings him down just with a wrap. And then they bounce... Out he goes. Space between Clemmer and also Captain Cordner. Too easy. Well, there's nothing on there, was there, Daryl? The fact that he jumped out, he got in between four defenders. I think when you know that you've got so much shape and so many quality players in around you, that takes the attention away from the defenders. You know, but you've got to always remember that the ball is where the threat is. The ball is where your mind should be. Australia, we haven't seen them let in tries as easy as that in the past. Let's see what happens now. Red flags are flying around this place. Stags to have the extras. Should be good enough for one in front. Well, the crowd are loving this. What a passing start from Dolan. Now, probably the six, no. He's 27 now. Will Hook White, remember he went around his mission, a religious family, proud rugby league family. And on his return, he's once again proven that he is a rare talent. He has a quick look up. Yeah. He yeah, started way back in 2010, played the 2011 grand final against the Warriors, Will Hook White. Five times he's played for New South Wales. His fourth try in Tongan colours in 10 test matches. Boys, I'm just having a look at this Tongan bench and they're eager, they're fired up, they can't wait to get on. You've got Kafita, you've got Pangai Jr., and you've got Joe Offahengawai. So it just gets worse for you. Yeah, out there, big men are coming. And it was a really interesting decision to not start with Kafita. The ball on Adam Murdoch. Changes here for Australia. Sees Paul Vaughan and Payne Haas onto the football field. Both on debut last week. How good was Payne Haas? Absolute freak. The footwork come back across the ruck. He's an exceptional talent, isn't he? So Australia now. A little stunned by that early try. Connie Harrell comes charging forward. Popular figure. Here in Auckland, with his kisses to his mum down the television camera and the like. 
Damalolo gears up again. He hits the line. He just puts his foot on the gas. Charges into his work. Avili. Delolo here. It's the up and under. Could go anywhere and that car gets hold of it. Corralled here by the Tongan chasers. It's a really good take from Josh Adokar, surrounded by bigger humans than himself. Got to ground as well because what Tonga want to do is they want to let you take the ball and then pick you up and drag you towards the sideline. This is Vaughan, his first carry of the evening. Genuinely big man in to replace those tiring forwards. Damien Cook peels out the dummy half quarter, tries to shape across the left. Again, enthusiasm in their defensive work in the red and white jerseys today. As you would expect, Payne Haas. Born in Sydney, with the Swiss, Filipino, Tonga, and Samoan bloodline. So quite a mix there. Well, he can't chase Hopawade equal to the challenge. Here's the other thing I really like about Will Hopawade. Wherever he plays, he always comes up with high interactions in the game. You put him at centre, he doesn't get lost. And then more importantly, he's a mistake-free footballer. Most things he does, he comes up with the goods. Class act, that's for sure. Really like the willingness of the wings to come on in and work through the middle, as you say, there, of genuine size. 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, Mau. I mentioned the goods, boys. About to get their boarding passes now. Fafita. One of the best last week against the two Great Britain squad. That's his OK inside ball. Look out, here he is, the Fox. Fortuitous, the ricochet, good skill from Mitchell. Now penalty, just holding on too long. No, no, no. Hold your breath when... The Fox out of car sees a bit of space. The eyes light up. Rugby league fans around the world. Next one. Make the Step one forward. Like a road runner. Hold. I think you're right. Just a little bit like the road runner. Here he is, Haas. Pops the ball back to Trubojevic. Tedesco. Showing goes in Tedesco. He has to be watched like a hawk, this man. The Tongan defenders know just what a talent he is. The Italian player of the year through Cherry Evans. 15 out from the line. Australia want to come back. Conceding a try, pretty straightforward one, really. Haas. Making life painful. Straight run, Kotrick sees the line. Kotrick gets there. In fact, it's waiting. My apologies. Okay, that will be tackle three. I have a try. Yeah, mate. Yep. Ensuring that there's no obstruction. Nobody is uh, impeded by the runner, the lead runner who goes through. through. There's plenty uh, of video players running behind their Mike, own can players. Can we go back to that previous play? The ball, front of play, the ball, please. Just run this through from a wide shot, impeded. looking at a possible obstruction. Live decision is try. But they're always going to be under the pump. And Whiten gets himself in a good field position after this okay, wonderful run. Here. Did we talk about this kid's runner. footwork back across the ruck? Pain Now it's Tedesco. I'm OK with that. So there's the first possible okay, going chance. Here, Eric. We're OK with this here. so far, Jerry. Jack okay, gets a nice no one bounce back to the middle yep. of the field. Tedesco's through Such the line. Such a gifted runner. Shift from Give me something on the ground in here, Eric. Five eight for Canberra mate. this year. That's a try. OK, we can go to the board. That will be a try. Go to the screen. Thank you. He's a great player, isn't he? Why is yeah, it awesome. a wonderful year? <laughs> Stack of footy for the Canberra Raiders. Clive Churchill, medalist. Jeff so White. Mate. Very good. I had it. Yeah. You've got Ben and Tui there, is that right? Well, you mentioned the big man, you fight fire with fire. There he is, big, strong, with footwork, comes across against the grain, finds Whiten, and Whiten with his own fleet feet, speed, the law, and he gets across and scores a try. He's only 19 years of age, Monty. 
It's crazy. The feeder in the same club as him is 19 years of age too. Unbelievable job. The two to have the extras from pretty close range here. And we disappointed the Tottenham fans and also the Tottenham players after working so hard to get that lead. Pretty ordinary defence close to the line. And hats off to White and he was able to capitalise after the wonderful run. Cutting the run now from Pen Haas. 6 6. 28 gone here in the first half. Monty, I've just got to ask a question. Is that breeze dropped off now? It was uh, favouring Australia quite strongly at the start of the match, but uh, maybe it's died down. Yeah, I think at the start of the match there was a slight breeze there that was behind Australia, but at the moment, like, like you mentioned, it's uh, pretty much gone. There's nothing there at all. Uh, but I tell you what, if there is a, a good kicking game, it probably is the one that the Australians are putting together. Their kick and chase has been probably the difference between the two sides, even though there's nothing in it, as we see on the scoreboard. So here's a really important period for the Dong defenders. Australia built with Vaughan. Charges into the Dong defence. Otsiri Katoa also into the mix. Dubrovic and straight at Murdoch Masela. On the 30. Australia maintains position here. Completing 85% at the moment. Just inside the tournament half. No, you're around the neck twice. Get away from the neck. That's a real shame for Tonga. It is. Late in the tackle count as well. Australia getting set to kick. Let's have a look at the work over the top. We're talking about work around the neck. So Sioni Katoa there grabbing a hold. Of Payne Haas by the melon and just holding on for grim death. Gee, he's really made an impact, hasn't he? Haas inside the 20 can ill afford to concede another try. 30 minutes gone. Vaughan with a settling run. He's now only eight metres out from the try line. Here's a big chance for Australia to go back to back. As Chalk fights for Bournemouth, tried to Payne Haas again. They know how dangerous he is this time. Is a trio of defenders. Five out. Here's a go. No problem whatsoever. Horse. It's Vaughan. That will be tackle four. Yep. Have a try. Yep. Just confirm and Paul Vaughan retains possession of that. Okay, mate. Thank you. Video ref to Eric. Thank you, mate. Just, just on the ground. Just a subtle here, play mate, here to the left. Maybe one on one. Just to determine position. More the hip and spin, you, creating the problem for the defence, the Tongan defence. They were set out way out right. Eric, can we take and that back a bit further from that, mate, from a start point? Hand Happy in the, to the ground. We just confirmed possession throughout the whole process. That, Thank you, mate. Dislodged the football. Okay, possession so is there by Bang. Ball. Good whack in the tackle. You've still got that. I'm okay from with all that. Go to the front on shot, mate, Blake, the ground. Pangai Jr. And then. Still looking Plenty good, Jerry. On okay, here for Thank you, mate. We can go to the screen no with a try. There. Thank Born you. In Canberra. Thanks, mate. will help himself to a pork pie. It's pretty straightforward one, as it turned out. They're always under pressure, the Tongan defence. Well, there might be question. Paul Vaughan was the right man for the job. Close to the line. Big Do solid it. unit. Do it. Sure did take some scoring. Paul Vaughan. Bit of work to get that ball over the line. I tell you what, you mentioned it, Dale. Payne Haas, his contribution since he's been on the field. I reckon he's changed the tempo. He said he's the man to fight fire with fire. He's been exceptional and probably the difference since he's been on in the last 10 minutes. Mitchell again with a pretty straightforward conversion. It takes us out to 12 6, 9 to play. 150 in our own games. The Dragons for the poor ball. Both try scores for Australia debuting last week and both getting a try this week. Paul Vaughan, of course, played for Italy. Six test matches courtesy of his mother. 
Italian heritage. He looks Italian. Things are not deal. In position, Mish. Time you run. I don't know. Having that position for a while now. So they've actually made more tackles than. The way that bounce is slightly awkward, too, and Sherry Evans covers up, and he has to. As the red white army get out of the mix. Here he is. Haas. What a difference. He has made since being on the field. Safina is there now. Best offloader in the NRL. So Payne Haas now leads the way and carries for Australian forwards off the bench. That was his eight. As you try to score a Vaughan. Centre field. Eight short of the halfway line. Man from more you as well as Cameron Murray plays the ball. Cook goes down the left hand side. Munster Let's get it steady under the pressure as well. Once again, well hook wide. The Ado Car was on him quick. Was a really good chase from Josh Ado Car. No space at all provided to Ron Hopewade. Just the two up gets smuggled. Right in. On D this time around. The rut speed of the Tongan team has really slowed, hasn't it? We need to create some momentum here. And the Tuco tries to do just that. So we've got Toy, turns it to Fafita. They managed to get 30 metres from their line. On the set is got Tony Staggs, decides to give it another go. That ball's gone on the inside. Scrambling for it. Is that pass forward it's on the inside? I mean, great burst here from Katoni Staggs. There was nothing doing. He just provided some real good energy and speed down the short side before feeding the ball on the inside. I'm too sure anyone touched it. Handing the ball back to Australia on the halfway line. That's dangerous. Sutton makes his decisions pretty quickly and emphatically. 40 from the Tongan line. 12-6 with six to play here in the first half. Skipper sets them up here on the 30-meter line, and Cook adds to the mix. There's Jerry Evans. The dancing feet of Munster. Ridden to ground, though. Stand there, Ben. I'm going to take a little bit of a whack there. Go three. Short side. Nice ball. Todner. Murdoch Masili gets a one-on-one -on -one strip. Tom are in possession inside their own team. And a penalty to boot. Okay. This helps Tom out. We haven't seen Australia's half for quite some time. Look at this with the one on one strip. Cordner goes to ground and he just rips it out and rakes it before picking it up. Australia getting the better of the last six or seven sets, and Damien Cook was just starting to run a little bit more from dummy half as well. So this is timely. Hold to the front. Hold! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And Scotty lines it up. And straight at the trail of Mitchell and Vaughan. Sending it out. Taking it by the ticket of Jr. He's on the halfway line. Predictable at the moment on attack. Go two. Go Jr. Inside. Good run. Win of Masila. He's playing strong already. 13 tackles, seven carries. A door. And throw the ball for Ofengawe, one of the young guns. He was been. The door. Alive, Hopuadi, beautiful hands from Stags, tries to put it in the end goal. Tedesco is there, but spins as he gets to the line, always dangerous to ground inside the 10. Still 12 6, with under four to play in this first 40. Katoni Stags has made a really good fist to the 5 8 position here, providing the last play options for Tonga. Maybe he's found a new home. 
This is Cook, watch him, late in the half, decides to run when the markers are getting a little bit out of sorts. Yeah, some nice touches, uh, Daryl, especially some of these little kick stiff touches that you talk about there. Take some skills. And the introduction of Haas really turned the tide here. Murray, finding Vaughan. Last one here for Australia. Important that they concede here. Tonga, runners down the left side. Here's Mitchell. The inside kick is smart. It's been towed on. Jennings is there to cover up. Pressure on him. But he handles the pressure well. Clever play. Oh, now Australia come up with their own. Boyd Cordner. Put the Good shot on shot. An entertaining first half here. Tries to right and Vaughan for Australia after Hopewati scored. In the first minute. Two and a half to play, here's the bench. And the chance to rest as Fafita gets hold of it. Another penalty for Tonga. Australia with three line breaks. Uploads are pretty equal. And Australia hold out Tonga, or did Tonga find some points with just two to go? There it is. And that's pretty much two defenders in the tackle is why it was penalised. One and a half to play in the first half. Tonga would be satisfied with their efforts here if they can go into the sheds. One try down against the world champions and the favourites here. That is the most sloppy of passes from the play of the ball. Jennings shows his frustration. It was a horrible pass, wasn't it? Sione Katoa. I don't know if the ball actually touched the leg of the person playing the football because it basically didn't get off the ground. One of those mistakes that you can ill afford against the team that will make you pay. Thanks, us. 83% completions for Australia, 72 for Tonga. Put themselves in the mix though. As the scrum pack's down. Michael, be fed here by Cherry Evans. Half volley pick up on the far side of the field. Sione Kurdnell! 35 out for the line, Australia with it. Again, back to the short side as Mitchell angles across. Good D. Pop pulled out the back though. Finding Cameron Murray. He is a danger man. So is Cook. Look out. Here's Munster. And the car's looking to come as well. The kick back on the inside. Well, they've got every trick in the book. Australia. And the car shows great sportsmanship as well. There's just no one chasing the kick, was there? Have a look at this. Again, they find some space out to the left. And the left foot of Cameron Munster from Rockhampton. Finds to Vita Pango Jr. No one hunting up back through the middle. No one really aware of that kick. Cameron Munster, Andrew Fafita. He always likes to check with the ref. Stay behind it. Break the position on the field. Or Stay behind a couple of extra seconds off to get to half time, Dale. Well, as you heard something say, international touch judges in, posi in position. So time is off. 15 seconds to play. So, Australia. As Munster feigns for a field goal. He's got tremendous creativity. They stand up, and there is the Hooter in the background, entertaining first half of International Rugby League here in the Oceania Cup. It's from Eden Park, it's the third game, and it's Australia who lead Tonga 12-6 at the break. Welcome back to Eden Park, 12-6 uh, scoreline here, Australia leading Tonga in what's been an entertaining first half of Rugby League. Both teams very much in the heart of the dance competitions that the Tongan community have celebrated. They will 
darts for any given reason, and it's just a wonderful atmosphere. This for Daryl Halligan, Monty B from Sideline, Daryl. Uh, Tonga could still win this, but they're going to have to start well here in the second 40. Just six points down at half time. It was a good result. Of course, they scored the opening try to put their nose in front before Australia. Had the introduction of a couple of special players off the bench and created two really, really good tries. I think when you talk about the Australian team, we talk about all their marvellous attacking players. But they really do put a lot of emphasis on being the best offensive team in the world. And they can really capitalise too on the slightest uh, mistake points in. And a car making their way back on to the field. Tyson Frizzell, he's been a powerhouse as well. 24 tackles, three carries as well as Papa Lee. Comes back out. Australia recognise that they are in a cultural cauldron. When you mention that name, Tyson Lomano, David Frizzell. He's played just over 150 games in the NRL now. Played three Origin games this season. And it's become a real mainstay on the right edge defensively for Australia. Of course, he contributes with the football as well. But as you say, Dale, defensively, 24 tackles on the right edge and a half of football at 100%. There's your man. Tedesco is always threatening. I think it there only has to be just a slight break in play. This bloke's been around. Great uh, student of the game. Wonderful ambassador as well, Daly Cherry Evans. But uh, one of those footballers that really soak up the information. And, um, he showed no signs of panic as he uh, left the field at half time, did he? No, Daly Cherry Evans, a real survivor. He was actually won a grand final in his very first year at Manly in 2011 against the Warriors. First year of playing first grade, not a bad effort. And for Tonga, well, many to do. Opposing in the halves from Daly Cherry Evans today is Katoni Staggs. He's born in Wellington. It's Wellington, New South Wales. 33 games for the Broncos. He made his international debut for Tonga. Did Katoni Staggs and played in centre in the mid-season test this year against the Kiwis. His second international game and having a fine match now at 5-8. A thank you footballer as well, Katoni. And of course, the reason why Christian Wolf gave him the responsibility here man who filled in last week was good John Asiata uh, misses out this week as well with the inclusion of Tevita Pangai and also Joe off in Darwin uh, still on the field so they've got some strike power to reintroduce you right, Bish? here we go hope you enjoy the action we're on the way with the second 40 12-6 scoreline to right to left Australia as Tevita gets into the mix early on Plenty of good vibes going around the stadium. Monty Bethel with the sideline as well. Monster, important that Tonga get away to a good start here in the second half. Yeah, I think it's crucial. We know how good Australia were, and they're finishing their first half the stronger of the two. Tonga, we know when one of the crowd seems they get up, but also when they score points. When they score points, it seems to be they grow an extra leg, and maybe now they're big enough as it is. Oh, Virginia pops the ball back, and so it's an enterprising play here. This man's been good. Last weekend, this and Murdoch Basila, Wellington, Connie Harrell angles up. Cook is there to make the tackle. Tackle number 28 for him. Payne Haas, exceptional. There's Lolo here, puts the ball high. It's deep. Chasing up through the middle here for Tonga, but being checked out of all the action gives an uncontested catch for Tedesco. It's a good set of six to start the game. Conrad Hyrule finding really good metres through the middle. Just no contest on the last play. Here's Vaughan. To meet up and square. The tour making the tackle. This is on the halfway line. 20 in from the southern stand. Haas has the ball. Beautiful footwork, the young man. Good tries, constantly darting around. Straight run from Tyson. Inside the 30. Last tackle, last first receiver. Munster now. Cut up ball to Mitchell, but he can't control it. And it's in the arms of Lolo here. It's a dangerous pass across the goalpost here as Whiten 
comes in and nails. Also a poor pass to Latrell Mitchell. Put the ball behind him. Connie Harrell made a really good read in defence. It's an inspiring carry from David Fisitur. Centre field and 35 here for Tonga. Malumal. Another layer of effort. Short of the halfway. Davida. From Gawi. Well, that really easy pick is there for Cook. Next to his telly. And Lolo here, these up and unders, where they need somebody to be able to get to the ball. Tony kind of Harrell is there amongst the. I think it's something of a blocker. Really easy metres for Tonga there in that set of six. Andrew, 65 metres. Hold, go two. Ray Graham still not used this for Latrell. Mitchell is upended. He's put the ball back and it's stolen by Jennings. Down the short side they come and it's Ponga Jr. over the top. A little dangerous if you ask me. Dubow. Ponga Jr. off and now it. A bit of a stammer as he comes to the defensive line. Murray downstairs, up top, Paul Vaughan. Well, in front of the post. A little much too, too much detail. Going to close the play down. Do you take two? I don't think so. I don't think it's in their DNA. They'll tuck and run. Put some shape on them, as we do for Fita. Two his feet for Fita, shown on the inside. Tololo here, and a charging run from Murdoch Masila comes in proper. Not finished yet, Pango Jr. Gas is down, puts the big fan, gets the pass away to Mo. Where's the runner? Still alive. Kator, Lolo here, stags on the far side. Stags is in the corner. He has a go. I'm not quite sure he got there. Not sign of it, but I don't play. Horse, that will be tackle three. I had no try, as well as grounding. Look at contact with the head prior to getting to grounding. Okay. He so deserves a try here, Katoni Stags. Doesn't look like he's going to get one. Grounding possibly the issue. Five decisions, no try. Tony Stags, tackle three. Here he goes charging up high, oh, straight across the jawline for Tedesco. But you do anything to stop a try, don't you? And there, hey, we've got the ball on the other side there, Eric. Please, mate. We need an angle from the other side. So, okay, with some high contact, Tedesco and Cherry Evans. Ball remains up. Okay, Jerry. Yeah. Okay, mate. Got one more shot here. Okay, we've got a penalty against James Tedesco for high contact, mate. The ball never gets to the ground. Yeah, penalty is all. Yes, mate. You can go to the decision on no try. Okay, no, it's a penalty, not a penalty try. That's correct. Okay, thank you. It will be a penalty. It's a Fair call. More contact, possession here for Tonga. Started the second half on fire. I argue that one, Chuck. I argue the fact that if his momentum wasn't disturbed by the high Wait, tackle, he would have got over and he would have scored that try. You've just been affected by the crowd, Monty. Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait, I'm a little bit with you too, Monty. Hold. A desperate yeah. tackle is a similar one down the other end as well. If I go it. Well, that's certainly put a spark into this tongue and attack. One foot. Hold. 20 cut to the right for Fita. Bulldozing his way towards the line. It's Haas all over him as well. Steps back. Otololo here. The door's opening out wide. And here is Jennings. No doubt about this one. Lovely shape here. Really good play. 
I thought Hoppawati might have gone in for a double. It seemed to open up. But the selfless act to pass to Jennings here. Look at that. Great front runner. Good block shape. Catch and pass. And one of the best finishers in the game, Michael Jennings. 280 first grade games. Started his career way back in Penrith before shifting to the Roosters where he won a comp. And now spends his time at Parramatta, the noted try scorer. Well, you had the numbers there. I thought they almost butchered that one. You mentioned the pass out to the left. Selfless to get his teammate over the line, but the scramble from Australia was exceptional. The Tongan team, what the Matoka was going to say, they can't be pushing that time. Beautiful try. We've got a game on our hands, fellas. The flags are flying and the crowd is heating up. 31 years of age for Michael Jennings. His 12th test match for Tonga. He scored 10 tries in that time as well. In seven games for Australia, he scores six tries. He just basically gets one a game. Marvellous. Absolutely spot on. It's a difficult assignment here. Tony Stags has been playing well, but we're all surprised if he makes this one count as well. He's hit oh, it pretty yeah. good. Just slides it to the left post. Looked like it had good shape. Camera had it on line to start with. We're just dying short. Showing some vulnerability out there, though, in Australia. We're pretty tight on D. It's twice down that left side, there were a chance. Stags was unlucky to be denied. Tommy Santa is back, he was there last week in Hamilton as well. So Mitchell gets us underway again. And Tommy South Belief takes another shot on the arm. Jennings to Tommy Hart. Wow. Just remember that a couple of real guns were waiting there. Return. Tokao is on his feet at the moment. He is sidelined. Issue here for Manu Mao. Manu Mau, Doesn't look in a good way either, Manu Mau. Off to the English Super League next year. He's up now. So maybe a neck He's issue. Let's have a look at the contact here. Oh. Oh. The foot really shows. A little bit of a clash in the head. A big body of Payne Haas comes in and jams as well. Toy on the rise. Fafita. And then Mike in the way he counts, counts the ball forward. There's a little bit of trouble. Katoa. The other replacements haven't let their coach down. We're talking Pama Jun and the whole of him down it. And the stags. Looking to put it in the gap between Tedesco. It's good, and finds space and lands five metres out from touch. And now they're giving the attention to detail over the top to slow the tackle down. Cherry Evans bounces out and finds the winger that is Nick Kotrick. Try score up. Whiten. Decent enough run for him. Bukovic on the side. Tyson. Ridden really here by Kator. Good of Masila. His crop. Nice little ball. Always dangerous. Crop with those blind passes. A little shimmy as he gets to the line. And now it's to Daly Cherry Evans. He puts it up and says, well, What have we got here, Mr. Hopuadi? Jack White just shuts him down. Hopuadi, though, equal to that challenge. Jennings, the try scorer. The Australian coaching box will be really happy with that set of six. It started five metres out from their own line and finished five metres from the opposition. It's a good set of six. Now the offense. Tommy want to play. Cameron, get rid of me out. I'll hit Big Joe on the 20 metre line. What a game. Entertaining. And through waves, 36 tackles for Crook. Connie says, get out of my way. So those charges here. 70 odd games for the Warriors. And Lola here. The big spiral bomb. No one wants it. 
It's big Jackson now trying to get hold of the ball again and an offload on the far side for Hopewadi. Full set back for Donga. Watch out. Inside the Australian half. How high did that kick go, Monty? Oh, it was crazy. Very high. I think it came down a bit of snow on it. But now I think these boys are getting excited. Second shot at it. Tonga at the best of times when it's only one set of hard to handle. When you've got back-to-back -back sets with their backs up. Ooh. For feeder. The tour moves in. He's looking across and spirals it out inside of Murdoch Masila. Board Cordner stands his ground. Oh, to Mark Robo here. What's Tui going to do here? Gets the pass away to Tony. It's been touched again. Horse. I have a knock on Tonga. Confirm if there's a touch Australia first. Eric, can we get a replay on it's that knock on? Having a look now, mate. This was enterprising here. Tui comes to his right edge and tries to throw a floater across. And has it been touched by Latrell Mitchell there? Certainly misses the Fox's hands. And comes off the mallet then of Conrad Hurrell. Let's have a look. I don't know if the cameras will pick it up. Go back the other one, mate. Pull, pull the shot, Paul. Time off. Now they'll take another shot. Camera angle. Let's have a look. Is there a hand in here? Well, the ball seems to maybe I don't deviate. know, Jerry. It's flight. Go with what you've got, mate. I've got nothing to overturn. Okay. It's Australia food. It's Australia food. 50-50. That'll go against Tom. Believes he hasn't got a hand on it, so it becomes a knock-on of Conrad Hurrell. It's in the back, Tonga. What about Boyd Cordner and the shot? Murdoch Masilla. Make sure all the he was wobbly after that, I'll tell you. Captain's head, body on the line. Ball and all, wonderful stuff. But really enjoying Murdoch Masilla's contribution to this Tonga national squad. Very important defensive set here for the men of red and white. They started. Great attitude. Go one. Go one. Go one. The trail. Mitchell gets the one ball. Oh, it's on as well. That punch is thrown. It's all been pretty okay up to this stage. Tom ball. Crowds loving it. Is that his Roosters teammate? Seal Siwa Takiaho with the shot on Mitchell. Comes back across the rock and then. Bang! In goes off and Garway. Joe. Correct me if I'm wrong, boys, but that's ball. three drop balls in the road from the trail, Mitchell. Yeah. You can. And I understand why Let's he dropped go, it too, Monty. Yes, yes, <laughs> that one I can understand. <laughs> Pretty brutal yeah. out there. Yeah. Tokeaho means business. He's, He's come on with fresh legs. What a battle we're witnessing here in game number three. Oceania Cup 2019. This is what we can expect in years ahead. What a wonderful idea to bring these clashes to this part of the world. Here's Jennings on the far side. Drives forward. Post contact, impressive. Go one. Dupont, the This is why he's got a premiership ring. Look at the way he carries. Talk about inspiring your teammates and. Lifting the crowd around you, so Tonga down by two with Fafita this time. Big Andrew just wants to play the ball. He's muscled to ground as well. Payne Haas trips him. Toka is only a meter short of the line. 39 in the second half. When I say the big guys, Seal Siwa Takiaho, he nearly got there on his own with a little bit of footwork. Got up and played the ball quickly. And then this man on screen, Davida Pangai Jr. Just his fifth game for Tonga. Have a look at it. There's Siwa, goes straight past Damien Cook. And then with Wade Graham just onto the field in the tackle, Gifted little pass there from Sione Katoa to Tavita Pangai Jr. And the hat and the spin, we've seen that before tonight. 
We see it again. Well, it's almost unfair. After one big guy with athleticism, another big guy with athleticism comes. And he's got speed, he's got power before the next guy comes. That's what this Tongan side brings. Not only the Red Sea, it's been wonderful for International Rugby League, Tonga. And we thank you very much indeed. But we've got a game on our hands right now. Australia, they're in the huddle. They're talking about what they need to do to dig deep to ensure they come away victorious. Well, what a game. Tip your hat to Sully Kartor. Wonderful distributor. Dog bound. There's plenty of games for Penrith. All the lower half. Sully. Compiling connections as Katuni stays. Looks to put the icing on the cake of that fine run. Two fine runs, in fact. The set by Fafida is important. The Stags gets the flags. <laughs> Clips a bit of paint on the way through. They have dog kicking options in the Tongan team with our man Takihau as well. Fantastic images. Wonderful scenes of celebration. Long way to go here, of course. Powerhouse running. The Tongan invitation of 13. Let's get back to business. My go boys, my go. Let's get to it. Who's next? Australia have now made a hundred more tackles than Tonga in this match. Remarkable stat. Possession in favour of Tonga, 60-40. Dakaru, please. Not to be messed with. With his attitude, not to know the It's nice to back it up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Time to panic here for Australia as the ball is punted downfield. Tedesco takes it on his 20. Speed the bird, Connie chases. It's a good kick, too, from Sione Katoa. We're leaving the options of to Tony Staggs and Lolo here. This is the Fox, he's had a quiet game. Talk about playing for the little kingdom of Tonga. Here's Cordner, the skipper. He'll take it upon himself to inspire. 106 metres of Tokyo Hall ready. Probably he's back into the max. There he goes, 42 out from the line. Trump from Bolovic, up quickly on Daly Cherry Evans. He's spinning and looking for a way through. Munster, looking for Alec Hart. Up beautifully to take the ball, showing commitment. Some class and super skills. That is such a brave take from David Fisher to it. His opposite, Josh Addo Carr, just positions himself underneath, doesn't even really... Well, he wanted to contest, to be fair. Conrad Hurrell provides a little bit of a check, so Addo Carr is then forced to be right underneath the hips and the legs of David Fisher to it, which can put him in a fairly awkward position, but it's not Addo Carr's fault. It's just a brave take when you're up there like that. Fafita gets a spell and now Edwin Fanoa Black's on with Tomololo as well as we come towards the last quarter. 58 gone here. 16 12. Who would have thought? Well, I tell you, Christian Wolf would have thought it was all on. The last week's solid performance against the Great Britain Lions, the tourists. Here's Tomololo with some fresh legs and a great attitude. Dukalho, the big men are just burning up the meters as they go forward through the middle. Well, here. Here's the chase. The last time was the big torpedo bomb. This one's a more conventional end-on-end -end rotation. Takiaho, the leading forward runner in the Tongan pack. 12 carries, 120 meters. Here comes Mitchell. He's hurled one. Monty will be happy. Getting into him as well. 
Edelton or Blake. He loves the tough stuff. And you need that from your prop forwards. Don't get our horse in the mix. Riggins was chance to get to his feet as Kotrick, and now put a roll on here from Australia. It forced to be a little quiet, too. A team that's dominated many in recent seasons. The ball of it plays it, and now we're wide for Tedesco. He's got speed. He's wrapped up in a beautiful tackle by Staggs. Read his mind. Now Jerry Evans got a punch run into the corner. Oh, up there's near. The tap back is on. It's still the last tackle. Damien Cook's there. Wiry, clever, Trubojevic, he'll kick it sideways, and the Fox is there, but it's been punched there. Hurrell was there, saves the day. Just hop in position, we'll go clever play from Australia. Great work from Conrad Hurrell, but what about the skills of Trubojevic? He's found a kicking game. He plays a lot in the middle, Jake Trubojevic, and sets up a lot of their block shape. Lovely ball from Damien Cook, one-handed offload, and summing it up, find some space. That's not easy to do. So there's Drake Trevojevic, Tom can have a kick, and Connie, good effort. So classy from Jake. The man can do it all. Not just an absolute workhorse who's in the middle that you can rely upon. The skill set is that good. The fact that he can put Donga now under a lot of pressure where it could have been easily handed over and they could have been coming out of their end. That is the difference between the good teams and the best teams. That's why Australians have been so good over many years. Completions in the mid to high 70s, 70 percent, that is. We're looking at missed tackles, pretty even Stephen, 20 and 18, obviously with more. But as far as tackles made, well, 90 extra tackles by Australia. Solid showing here. Conrad Hurrell too, he popped down with an injury there. Experience now, only time to have a little bit of a breather. Repeat set for six. Maybe hot it. Come on. The approach three quarter game time is certainly not out of the woods. Four is not going to be enough here tonight. You get the thought is the ball almost eludes Papali. It's the third time Australia have let the ball bounce from kickoffs. It'll cost them shortly. As Clemmer will take it upon himself to get some go forward for the green and gold. Five inside enemy territory. Predictable carry for Popoliti. Midway 30 and 40 now. Trubovic. Short side this time, Munster. Creative. Competitive. Across he goes for Tedesco. But he takes out, out wide here. And a man who knows his way to the line. As seen earlier in the game. Whiten plays it for Tedesco. Wade Graham. Finally with his chance. Zabovic. There's the pass. It's been knocked down. It's a knock on. And Donga will get the scrum feed here. Great work. First of all, from the left edge of Tonga and Daniel Tupo to stop that attacking threat. And then the right edge comes into play as Cherry Evans finds his manly teammate in Travojevic. He loves playing off Travojevic because he knows Jake will go there and provide a little bit of football. And then Connie Hurrell closes down some space. Look at that, the fend on Tui, then the ball out the back. And you watch he comes from the side, but it actually hits the arm. Forearm of Conrad Hurrell, so they got a 50 50 go against them, Tonga, not so long ago. They get one go their way. Here. Do they start to dream? Do they start to believe, Dale? I think they've been believing for a long time that this was possible. The victory over New Zealand last week's win over Great Britain Lions. And even Christian Wolf at the start said, no, I think we can do this one. I mean, Corpus still figured that they had a good chance as well, but for the Tom and fans, you don't want to get ahead of yourselves. This is the best team in the world, I remind you, world champions. For a period there, felt like they were unbeatable. Australia, the Kiwis have had erratic success. 
Now, into the mix comes this proud team in red and white. They've just been enormous. Tui does well, finds some space, finds the ground. It's a good roll. He's matured as a footballer. It's, uh, opportunities in Great Britain. You see him develop a more sensible approach to football. He is himself a little erratic at times when he is in New Zealand, but seems to have matured as we see Clemmer with the ball again. Good contact. Kamalolo down low, stop the big guy. Manu Mayu looking for a boarding pass, sideline. Trubovic. Jerry Evans. Down the right side, we look as Watton delivers. Look at the enthusiasm here! What a defensive effort! Yeah, plenty of room. Nick Kotrick. They shift it, they read the numbers well, and then infield he comes. Nice contact, one, two, three, suspend and hold him. Then the leg picked up by Jennings. And then the momentum with four Tomlin players there is all theirs. It's these little wins like that. Something like that can really get you excited. The crowd, even their supporters, even on the bench down here, they're up in arms. They get excited. You know, 16 minutes left to play in this game is a long time. But if you get these little wins like that, you keep that energy up at high levels, and I think that could be the difference in trying to get home against this very good Australian side. What a contribution Pano Jr. and the we have had here this evening. Stand there, hold down. Does he know they're in a fight? Hold That's for real. Go one. Watch the strips, boys. The wings once again Jake getting themselves involved. Hey. Tony Stags goes in to be the distributor this time. He's happy to cart forward. Exciting stuff, the crowd are on their feet. Providing this wonderful atmosphere here at Eden Park, and another superb carry of the football by Adam from Lua Blank. Damalolo, he doesn't need to do it all himself, his teammates are working hard. There's Havili on the Mo. Munster shuts him down. And it is a pretty ordinary kick. Saliva Havili. Shoots down a right edge and just needed to find some space for the kick. Most of the kicks have been going what they call cage kicks. So it's up into the air and just cage the opposition down inside their territory. Trying to be a little bit cute there with that one. Well, turn the momentum though. After earning the ball with that wonderful defensive effort on the far side of the field now, it attracts the attention of Clemmer. One eye on the clock as well. Plenty of time, yes. Some urgency now. The ascendancy with Donra. There's Papa Lee. Superb season. Rewarded with the national jersey for Bohovic. Last tackle for Australia as Cook comes. Here's Munster. Munster holds up the pass. Boy, corner. Sees a chance. Still alive. And O'Carr six to play. The Fox is on the hunt. He's away in a cross field this time. Takes the tackle on the 10 metres. Tonga under pressure. Shaking, wriggling, wait, wanting wait, a chance. Wait, 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 he had to give that penalty wait. away to get the defensive line set. Go. Cook, Clemmer. Munster's there. Clemmer takes it into himself. Dumbledore and Havili who wrap him up. Danger time here for Bora. says, this one's mine, boys. I'll get us a few metres. Get yourselves set. Let's get creative. Havili. 
Double over. Oh, nice. And it comes again for Tuimwala. Round the outside, he cuts it. Then a kick into the end goal. The chase is on. Scrambling there is Nick Kotrick. Jennings was probing and threatening. Nice play here. Nice play because Jennings gives Tui someone to kick for. He spots him early. And it's actually a clever kick. This is a mistake. As Cherry Evans wants Tedesco to come off his hip. Then Jennings picks it up and finds Tupo. And just here, out of picture, you'll see Jennings again screaming for possibly a second. Clever kick from Lola here. It's Mitchell with the restart. Played off the foot. Hop skipping a jump here in Tokaoho. At least driven back, Wade Graham's getting into the mix. Took a long time to introduce him into the game, Graham. Considering what a sensational sportsman he is. Hammer down. Let up now, play. Hold in, Josh. Avili. Go, two. Looking, talking. A lot of thin language out there, too, with Saliba. Now it's double all up. As you can see, 22 metres from the try line, four in it. 13 to play. Short ball for Fondo and Blake. That one's gone down and backwards. Stags. There's a couple of big holes there, right through the middle. Well, either way, what an entertaining game for the been as we see Doka Ahoy again. One of the heroes of the Stonger Invitational 13. Lolo here. Lolo here wants the ball back. It's been towed forward and out. Okay. Kick down on the fourth. Still a scrum. Still a scrum. Now, this is a ball in a test match you dive on if you're in desperation. Mitchell just kicks it, fly kicks it. Dewey couldn't get it through the line. Runs in to board Cordner's legs. And here, you dive on that football. You can see Cordner was going to do so. Latrell Mitchell decides to fly kick it and basically gifts Tonga a set of six, 15 metres out. It was about four. Four hand over this feeling. Yeah, so took uh, I think about, about four, about the three drop balls in a row. You add that one, that's four, just what I can think of in the second half alone. Costly. It feels like there's something building here for Tonga. This guy's had a big influence. Could be the Pano Junior. This man, every time he gets hold of the ball, the crowd gets on its feet. Numbers is stuck out here. One out. A revolver went down that right edge last time around. A video trying to exploit. Coming through, Barlow Jr. again. Don't take your eye off him if you've got a green and gold jersey on. He'll be in a bit of bother. Apparently, the Fox comes out early. Fifth tackle. Here's Lolo here. Running himself out of options. Puts it into the end goal. The bounce is there. He claims the try. He claims it. I'm off. I think he wants to look. No try. Make sure there's no perfectionism, I think. And then that we have a knock on from Tonga before Tedesco grounds it. Plenty to check here. Eric. We go back to the kick, mate. No boys, celebration means through. unlikely to be a We're try. At any possible interference? Live decisions, no try. So gifted this kick. Next, mate, he follows Nola his own here. kick. Just keep playing this. Shoulder Shuffling to shoulder. I'm right. okay with all that, mate. Now we just need something on the ground to here, mate. And, and grounded in goal by Tedesco. Okay, we're Should looking be at the any ruling. possible breach here by Tonga. Shoulder to shoulder. Back off Australia, and we've got a grounding in the end goal, Jerry, by Tedesco. Thanks, you can go to the decision on no try. Yeah. He's just thrilled. He's got a repeat set of six to it. Yeah. You're right. He has matured, hasn't he? Just wait. But he looked like he was running out of ideas and options, but he managed to get a, a sneaky little kick through. Chased on. He wasn't claiming the try. Just pleased that they get back-to-back -back sets. 
important set for an all black. I'll see after over the last fortnight. Will the crowd bring them home? Don't go our horse on the 20 meter line. We're into the last 10 minutes. Amazing clash here. This time we'll order with another one out run. Through he goes, takes four to put him away. In front of the post they go. Saliba, Havili. Thinking about popping the pass. Surrounded by Aussie defenders. Tamalolo with a drop off and Dokayahu comes powering towards the line. He won't get there. Some gutsy, gutsy efforts going on at the moment from both teams. No, that's not the play on the last. Saliva Havili, was it? Yes, he needed to shift that football. Take your head off to the defence of Australia. Mentioned just after half time how proud they are of their defence. They know it wins them games. Tackles now. Australia 130 more than Tonga. Very unusual decision by Saliba to go himself. He wasn't close enough. And now his teammates are working overtime. Still winnable for Australia. Just eight to go. Had O'Carr with it. The defence has been phenomenal. Short side of Munster. Cordner. Conrad Harrell falls over but quickly gets to his feet. Just in time for Cordner. This is Vaughan. They're running on adrenaline, the Dongan team. The commitment shown in this set on D has been exemplary. And finally, Cherry Evans says, I've got to get it out of here. And it goes to Hopawati, glides across the field. Australia chases. They only made on him. 30 metres in that set of six, Australia. No mistake football is what's needed here by Thonga. Coming down towards seven and a half minutes to play here. Hope you enjoy the action. Sky Sport, please to bring you this triple header from Eden Park. Now Tonga going nowhere. Yeah, it took them two tackles to get the rest of their boys on site. You can't have that because defensively it means you can come in, you can crowd them, you can get up and put pressure on them. Come on, Tonga, what have you got? Well, Havili has made some unusual decisions. That was another. And this guy just knows one way, and it's Fonua a Black. Running hot. And a penalty. Well, they pleaded and pleaded. They're thinking about the two points. Well, this time, it'll be in their DNA to take the two points. So there, Tyson Frizzell and Fanua Blake getting tangled, shall we say. Pressure Come kick off. for Tony Staggs, Chuck. What are we doing? Does he take it or Tokiaho? I'd, I'd stay with Katoni Staggs. He's been good. He's been solid. What is he going no real see? breeze. They both have the distance. It doesn't seal the deal, but it makes life a little tougher for Australia. A draw would be a magnificent result here for Tonga, but this feels like they've got the momentum. Yeah, we've singled out. Let's Staying go. down this end of the field would make some sense, but the decision has been yep. made on field. Your thoughts too, Monty? Well, Christian Wolf. he mentioned the sense of belief that this Tonga side has come with. Well, I don't believe that they come and draw out. against the best Let's in the world. Tiny. They come with the best intentions, and it's clear that they want to win the game. And they go away here victorious. So we'll soon to find out this will go a long Zero. way mentally in helping that be achieved. Six minutes is a eternity in rugby league, especially when you've got the Australians as the opposition. Well, they've stopped the clock for some reason. Yeah, they haven't got the clock ticking back over yet. Each kick normally takes 90 seconds, a minute and a half. And you wait and see what Tony Staggs has got up his sleeve. Study of concentration. The crowd will tell you the full Tomlin behind that set of goalposts. 
Julio now stags now with a chance to put it six in front. And is away. 20 metre drop kick. Back to your seats. Don't leave for the bathroom, stay right where you are. Pulsating six minutes of rugby league action coming your way here on Sky Sport. For Lua Blake. And the coiled spring, and then he comes charging into his opponents. Vaughan across the top on the tackle. A long time since Australia have been put under the hammer like this. Hold, hold, in. Go to. So not robots, and men are now being challenged. As Tamalolo kicks the drive on. For his teammates watching on, what an inspiration that is. His hop away, he's turning it on the inside for Pongo Jr. He's been good, now he's lost the football. Look out, Ponga. As Munster is clever. Lolo here is there. Munster can't get the pass, but believe you me, he was wanting to be. Jordan. The skipper shuts his way forward. It's just over the enemy territory. Look out for this man. It's Payne Haas. He's a man mountain. Tough as teak. And still popping the pass for Tedesco, who weaves his magic as well. Haas able to stand for an eternity. Put her under the puff now. It was only the third. They didn't need to throw it. Couldn't help himself. Cameron Munster, what about Payne Haas? Providing everything for Australia. The show, the go, and out the back. Patience. A word I hear from Mal Meninga. Time's off, let's form up. Payne Haas, when he set that up, didn't he, Monty? Gee, he's been good, and he had the ball for what seemed like an eternity. Kept it alive. Munster hit the panic button. Payne Haas is 19 years of age. He debuted last week against the Kiwis. He played probably the next best team in the world in Donga. The last two weeks, he's been exceptional. The minutes he's played, the contributions he's made. And like we said, 19 years of age, what can he do? Wonderful career ahead of this young man. Any chance he'd like to live in Auckland, Monty? Yes, please. Heads in the back. Yeah, I think we'll find him some digs. He's good. What a Heads career in. he has in front of him. Come on now. Exciting conclusion oh, here. It's a remarkable match. How you push it to him? 15. Oh, Thank you, Paul. Tomohovic. Just watch out for the one-on-one -on -one strip as well. Michael Jennings has been around for a while. He too will take it in a one-on-one. Effort. Stand there, oh boy. 25. Still time. Cameron. Oh, stand out, man. Adam for Noah Blake. It's done the long old winder up, Jace. Fifth and final tackle. Who's got the roll? Well, he's got the roll and he'll punch it across the sideline. Three and a half to play. So specials. Those runs just before the last play options. That with Tal Malolo gives Tui Lola here all the time in the world. Look at this. Off he goes, starts back inwards, takes out one, two defenders. And then so much time and space for Tui to sum up his kicking option. Heads in the back. Wait for the outcall, Will. Danny Osilva. The flags go. Come on. The hymns are in. Here's Cook. What a day for Cook. 57 tackles from Damien. And Tedesco's on the wind up. And Jennings is not for me, mate. Dead set smashes him on the far side of the field. 32 out. Here is Haas again. Jason Kieran. Make it here. Hold. Go, Cook. Runs and looks, delivers, Frizzell, 
Strong and powerful with this one. The back there in 40. Numbers down the left hand side. Munster's there. It's been touched by Connie Orell. Knocked down scrum to be set. 20 in on the southern touch line. And 30 metres out from the line. He so had to get a mid on that at Conrad Hurrell. Two over on the left. If he doesn't touch this, Conrad, look at this. Mitchell and Carr. 31 sets Tomo have completed. Australia have only completed 23. Do they complete the most important one, which is the next for Australia? Australia are dangerous right to the last. Who tell you can believe it? What a take. That's Toke Aho, that's commitment. He's been exceptional. 159 metres as Haas again gets into the max. But down to the last two minutes of play. Australia are well positioned. 20 metres out from the line. Trebunovic to Vaughan. Vaughan can't free his arms. Toro under the pump now. Australia are world champions for a reason. Can they do the business here? There are chances to Nesco. Out wide they come and Tola slide. Tola defend. But it's not over yet. Last tackle. Last tackle. Amazing. His clock. His monster. The cutout ball is Mitchell. Mitchell's got it. He's got it back for monster. It's still alive for Vaughan, who tries to kick the ball forward. It's still alive. Here comes Cherry Evans to Desco, and the ball is still in play. And Tola claimed that ball. Let's play on here. We've still got to play, but the party has started. Tola have possession in the last minute. A lead by four. Charts was there to the dying seconds. Plenty of options. The execution was oh. off. Okay. We got three dummy no, halves here. <laughs> Stags. It's whacked by Trubinovic. The Malolo comes in. Hey. Hold the ball. He'll be saying, I'll do that. I can do that. Here he is. Damalolo. Now, this is a penalty here. An international game, you can only have a one on one steal. As soon as there's been two in the tackle, you can't peel off and affect a steal. It's come into play in the last minute of this important match. The tears are flowing in the crowd on the field. And no doubt, back up home and die. Remarkable, gutsy effort. The Dunning Stags will run across field and then hit the deck. The game is over and Tonga are victorious. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. What a remarkable game of rugby league and the Tongan community are erupting as they should. They win this one against Australia 16-12. Let's go down and get some reaction with Sosua Tokaho. How does that feel? Can't really explain the feeling right now. Um, it's been a long journey for us. Um, we've come a long way. Um, we weren't too sure that we were going to get a game this year, but Full credit to the fans out here. They've been here since day one, supported us. Uh, I want to thank Australia for giving us the opportunity to play against them. Oh uh, man, feels good to beat all three tier one team. How long 
have you and your teammates and your countrymen waited for this moment? Uh, we've been waiting since after the World Cup. Uh, we weren't too sure if we were going to get a couple of games, but um, I think, you know, the NRL and also the Australian team gave us opportunity to play against them. And, um, you know, we took that opportunity and, yeah, look, we, we won um, against all three teams now, so it's good. Did you always feel like you could beat the world number one, the world champions here this evening? Um, I'm confident in our team. You know, we fought really well, um, fought hard during the last couple of years. And, you know, wasn't really expecting this um, early, but um, look, the boys fought really well. And, you know, we don't do it for ourselves. We do it for all these people here that are here to support us. I'd like to let you celebrate with your teammates, but first to the fans, a message to the fans. Um, to all our fans, we want to say thank you for being here. This game was dedicated to all you guys, so thank you.